in 2024, every man and his dog wants a newsletter because people realize that email marketing is something that you own. You know, you can get your social media shut down. YouTube can clamp down on, you know, the content that you put out. But your email list is yours. You control that. You control the content that you put out. And it's honestly one of the most valuable tools that you can have. And it's not long ago that email marketing sort of went out of fashion, but it's come back massively. And everyone's trying to build a huge email list because that's where the value lies. That's where your true customers lie. And I'm going to show you how you can build it through Squarespace. So what I want to do is just show you how to add a newsletter block, how to set that up, and then where your newsletter subscri uh, subscribers will be. So if we go over to our website here, and we go to the page that we want to add the newsletter to. So pages, and then let's say add it to services. So we click edit, and we're going to have a section here where we want a newsletter. So underneath, you know, people can sign up for uh, the contact form, and they can get the newsletter here. But we want an actual newsletter block. So we click block here, and we look for newsletter, click this, and you can see we've got our block. Now, obviously, this doesn't look great. So we double click and we go into design and we're going to stick all that to the left. If we go back to content, we can give it a name. So we'll say service page, newsletter, oops, can't type, newsletter. And then we can either keep the title or we can remove all of this entirely. Now, it's annoying that we can't get rid of this padding. I mean, you can, but you need code and that's, Something for another video, but in this case, we're just going to keep it blank. Then ideally what you want is to go to down here and get the name field because having the full name of your subscribers is going to be far more valuable than just having the email itself. So let's drag this over and we'll get rid of this contact form because I don't need it in this example. So there we go. Let's move this up. And then we've got our form here, our newsletter form. So double click again. And the most important thing is going to be giving it somewhere to actually be stored. So storage, we're going to go into here and then we're going to enable Google recapture. And that just means that you're going to get a lot less spam signing up. You can send a confirmation email if you wish, but you don't need to. So go back and then in other storage options, if you wanted to put them into a Google Drive, you could. If you wanted to connect Zapier or Zapier, however you say it, then you could. You can do that here or you can connect MailChimp here. I personally use Squarespace email campaigns being a Squarespace evangelist. So I don't need to do any of this. If you do, set them up. It's going to take you through a setup wizard. But let's go back and let's hit save. So if we go into this, all the user has to do is put in their name and their email, like so. And then they sign up. And you can see they just get a little thank you there. Now, what we have to do to find them is go into contacts and subscribers. And these are our email subscribers. So you can see I've just put that in now. You can see their email address, first name, last name, when they subscribed, how they subscribed, so what was the source, and whether they actually accept marketing or not. If you click in here, you can then also add a tag to them. So, so you click on this, you're going to go to the full profile, and then you can add a tag. So in this one, I'll just do cool dude. And then you can actually add internal notes. So if you have a team and you need to add notes about who these subscribers are, whether they're a valuable subscriber, whatever it may be, you can add that in. So, you know, this fella is extremely handsome. I think everyone needs to know that. So hit save and you can see the notes are in there. If you do need to get rid of that or edit, just delete. If you do then think, eh, actually, I don't want this person on the newsletter, you can in their full profile, opt them out of marketing, or you can completely delete the profile like so. 
Now, I realize that I was just showing you how to set up a block, but I've gone a little bit far. Regardless, that's how you set it up. And that is how you see where the contact actually gone. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.